Yo, what's up guys, it's Handy Design, and in this video I want to show you how I do players' feet shadows. So I'll give you guys two examples. One's going to be sort of like this layout where you have the, you know, just blank background. There's no defined light source. And the next one's going to be in more of a ma manipulation setting, and I'll show you how uh, you can do those as well. So let's get into this. This is going to be our first one, and let's go. Alright, so you can see I'm just going to take off my shadows I have, and I'll just make new ones. So we're going to go in our adjustment layer after we make a new layer and then we're going to click on our exposure right here. We're just going to turn down our exposure all the way and click control I. Boom. We'll click our brush and we're going to turn it to white. Just like that. We're going to make sure we have our hardness at zero, flow at 100 to start. And what we're actually going to do is right click and you can see these two little circles on the brush and if I go like this change it just like that so we're just going to drag it down to about right um, something like right there will be good and what we can do is just come in and just click just like this right <coughs> right where this foot touches you should make that super dark right just like that what we're going to do next is go up to our flow and I like to turn it down to around 12 10 or 11 something like that and right behind you can see like his foot right here is very close to the ground so we're going to make that darker as well and then back here we can probably make it bigger and tap it around and then around his foot to this side we're going to just sort of tap it a few times just like that we're going to make our brush even bigger and we're going to go over here towards the front even bigger and we'll tap just like that and then we can click X for our black and sort of just blend it in a little bit more off the top just like this there you go guys that's a basic little way of how I make my feet shadows in this sort of setting and uh, let's go into our manipulation style shadows alright guys for our next example this is the picture I have it's a uh, I basically took out a lot of a lot of other layers from this the original picture looks different than this but anyways besides the point what we're gonna do is you can see we have our Steph right here a picture of Steph this is obviously a manipulation style graphic we have our light source right here so that means he will have a defined shadow so what we're gonna do is click on our Steph layer where we have the player we're gonna click control J we're gonna go to, gonna go to that one under that right here and we're just gonna click uh, rasterize and then convert it back to a smart object just so we get rid of all those uh, filters and everything and then what we can do is press control T right click it and flip it vertical we're gonna move it down to where the feet basically match up so, sort of like uh, let me see, sort of like this right here to where those feet match up like that after you do that you can press control T again perspective and you're gonna drag this perspective out just like this and we're just gonna move it down a little bit because you can see I made it move up after we drag our perspective out maybe even a little bit more and then we can click scale and bring it down or we can bring it up in this case I think we'll leave it about right there then you can see since our light source is coming from this direction it's gonna hit him and his shadow is gonna go over here somewhere so we can right click again and press skew you should try that. skew right here and you can move it to the direction the light is going so it's going this way and we're gonna move it this way it's gonna be sort of like this right something like that right there and what we'll actually do is shrink it down just a bit just like that just like that right there okay now what we're going to gonna do is we are going to double click on this layer color overlay we're gonna make it a black just like that we're gonna go to our opacity and we're gonna drop it down just a little bit just like to a 90 or so and <coughs> now what we're gonna want to do is go to our filter blur Gaussian blur and I know I like to keep it around like seven or eight something like this okay and then once we do that click this little layer mask right here and this is just gonna make you able to erase stuff and it's not destructive 
So we're going to keep our flow. We can keep it at about 11. And our shadow is actually going to fade out a little bit right here. It's going to be more dark towards these feet. So we're just going to end up fading our shadows just like this. We can paint it back on just a little bit. Just like that. Right? And then we're going to do is make adjustments. Exposure. Turn down our exposure a bunch. Just like that. Control I. And then go to our white brush. And you can see on these feet, it's not really um, dark as we would like. So we're just going to paint on with our feet our feet right here and just paint in these areas we're missing just make it a little bit darker right here and then after we make this area darker what we're gonna do is press X and just fade it out again sort of like that and we'll actually skew it even more just like just like that, we'll have it about right there. And just a few more touch-ups, but this is basically what you're gonna wanna do. This is how I like to do my shadows, you can see. It looks like a shadow, you know? It uh, don't look bad or anything. We can maybe turn on the opac opacity of this black if you wanna keep some of that color in there since that floor is kinda reflecting. But um, yeah, that's how I like to do my shadows for my players when they're in more of a realistic environment. And yeah, guys, uh, this is a tutorial. Whatever tutorial I want next, be sure to comment and I might do it. I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all. Peace.